Today I wanted to do a video about putting rocks from your lakes and rivers into your aquarium and how to figure out which ones are safe and which ones you should avoid. Whenever putting rocks into your aquarium, you always want to remember that when you get them from lakes, rivers, and etc., you can always pick up parasites that can cause harm to your fish. A way to avoid that is by soaking them in some white vinegar to clean all the parasites off, put them in sun, and then wash them off really good again with some lukewarm water, and then soak them in vinegar again, and then washing them off in some water. That way you do not put any parasites from the lake into your aquarium, because that would be really bad. Another thing that you want to worry about is some rocks can cause your water to have an increase in pH. So today I want to show you a little bit of video about how you can tell which rocks are safe for the aquarium and which ones you should avoid because they will make your pH rise. So we're going to start off today by showing you a rock that is not safe and one that is safe. So we're going to start off showing you by one that is not safe. So I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to show you all the bubbles that form. And these bubbles are the ones that can cause your pH balance to rise in your aquarium. As you can see this one's bubbling quite a bit and this will cause your pH balance to rise into your aquarium. So that is one that you want to avoid. Another one you want to avoid is a rock like this. As you can see in just a moment, it will start to bubble quite a lot. Here we go, there's the bubbles. Alright, and one that are typically safe as long as you remove any parasites are ones like these. As you can see, this one will not bubble like those other ones did. It's not a large amount of bubbles. So good and bad. Good and bad. We'll try another good one just so y'all can see. Put that over here. One that you can use is another one that looks like this. This one I found doesn't bubble. No bubble compared to the one over here. We'll try another one that does bubble. And it's one like this. This one does seem to bubble. Give it just a moment and you'll start to see those bubbles. There we go. So that's one you want to avoid. And the one over here is still not releasing any bubbles. So thank y'all guys for watching. I hope y'all got a little insight about which aquarium rocks that you get from the lake you can put in your aquarium. But always remember that you do want to remove any parasites before putting them into your aquarium so you do not harm your fish. Thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all are looking forward to my next DIY video that I am doing. Thank you. Bye.